The battle royale is on its way when what's happening? 3v, 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 3v. There's a lot of teams of threes, and we're trying to get into the center. And just when I thought Shion is going to have his redemption arc by defeating Julius, it's like, nah. He says, fuck you. I'm still jealous about episode one. We got some matters to settle. He closes off us against Julius, and now we got to fight him. But I think there's something interesting happening with Colette, man. And in fact, maybe Colette's going to be the one that defeats Julius. Because there was a mention of the Earth Princess last episode. And I'm like, well, who else uses Earth magic and who should be important? Colette, right? What if she pops off thanks to Shion separating us, and we can also still correct Shion? I'm not really sure what they're doing with Shion. I still think a redemption arc will happen. It's just not in the way that I'm expecting. And last episode was definitely a subversion of expectations. Let's see what's going to happen today. You got backstabbed. That scene was really cool though. They keep re-showing the scene of Shion's destructive powers with all the trees that got cleaved. This asshole. Both. Yep. Like, he's not helping Julius. No, it's just that he has some scores to settle with Will as well. <laughs> Episode 1, when you saved his ass and he's still upset about that. <laughs> Colette, no! But this is actually so interesting that Colette is now outside with Julius. Is this gonna be a battle? And if Colette is the one to beat Julius, like, could you imagine? Like, what if she again is the Earth Princess? <laughs> This is quite the recap, man. I don't mind this recap, but god damn, they're fucking padding watch time right now. Backstory? Bullying. Totemo Hmm. So he was getting bullied. Will was getting bullied. That's why I thought I'd make him less painful to watch? Are we about to do some fucking mental gymnastics? And justify why Shion has been like this? And all the shit he's been doing has been actually helping Will? I mean, yeah, that, that's a nice gesture. That's a nice gesture, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Ignored. <laughs> so she would actually try to help him a long time ago. Even, you know, be one of my lackeys. But Will said, nah. So did she don't feel disrespected? Interesting. <laughs> Leave the poor kid alone. What the fuck is this look? What just happened? It can't be just the bullying that made him look like this right now. This is the look of a man on a fucking rampage. Maybe this is when him and Elfie got separated? I'm not really sure what the events... I, I don't believe it that it was just a simple fucking tag on his back. I doubt that would have ever made him be like this. What the fuck, Will? Jesus. <laughs> he doesn't... Yeah. He doesn't even look at you guys, right? Because Will is only focused on getting to Elfie. He never even saw Shion as like an, like an actual significant person. It must be when Elfie left. I like this more than nothing, though. Like, 
at least there's like a greater reason than him just like hating him because he has no magic. Like back in the day, he actually wanted to help out, but then he got denied. And he realized that Will never even saw like me as like an actual significant person. I, I, I think this is decent characterization as he owns. Flame whips? <laughs> Soundtrack boy. <laughs> Shion just wants Will's embrace. Shion just wanted Will to acknowledge him, but he never did. So he got mad and jealous, and this is just why will you never look me the way that you look at Elfie, Will? <laughs> ま、死んだ。それに、トラさんと愛じゃないんだ。ふざけるな。戦わないのなら、ここで焼き尽くした。しかないのか。ノックアウト。おっと、これはどうしたことでしょう。ずっとチーム内のウィル選手とシオン選
He definitely bet on Julius. I'm pretty sure. Well, no, no, no. No, he bet on Squad Toll. I think he bet on Wignall, right? That's why he's got the money in his eyes. No, yeah, he Sama. bet all on, on him. <laughs> yeah, my life savings confirmed. Who are you talking about? Who are you, who are you talking What's your assessment of our kinsmen at the academy? Are they talking about Wignall right now? It must be. They're talking about Wignall. They're more elves here, right? Okay. Elf faction IED camp. Philvis Chalia. He's average? Like, like if, if Wignall is average, that what makes everyone that's below him? The rest of the fucking students. What? And the one on the left, Lefia. <laughs> Lefia this is a festival for the inhabitants of paradise, the Rizans. More elf faction people. Eleanor is most likely the Magia vendor. The wind one, right? The elf one? I feel like we can still win. I feel like Will will still win. Oh, the lackeys. This is the Will's lackey. Sorry. Sion's lackeys. <laughs> Even these glazers are going through a character development right now? Usually they're always diehard Shion no matter what. I mean, even if they're questioning, you know it's bad. Yeah? You're sure what? <laughs> he just wants Will's affection. He just wants Will to acknowledge him. My boyfriend was never- it's like an unrequited love, bro, and he just walked away, didn't even see me as like a real human being, so he's all insecure and he's like, this motherfucker, I try to save you, I try to show you all that affection, and you just walk away. So it's all that just pent up towards six years, man. Very fixated. Okay, Xion Lore. Xion Ulster. Race reason. The people of, of course, you know, this area. Age 16, 171 centimeters, so what's that, like five foot five, six? Birthday, 13th of Nullsman likes marshmallows generously covered in honey. He's never told anyone this. <laughs> Marshmallow covered in honey is such a sweet snack. I would never imagine Shion eating that, bro. Dislikes, no talents who won't even look at him. First love. The Colette Loire of five years ago. Okay, so obviously Colette, Shion, that ship is gonna happen. But even in the past... Five years ago, they loved... Well, he had like a, maybe like a one-way uh, love towards her. Deepest dungeon floor reach, sixth floor. Equipment, Halcon wand, shirt and leather boots from the nobility exclusive brand, Lizile. Okay, some bougie-ass nobility brands. Skills, fire magic, mostly mid <laughs> and low rank spells. Plus the advanced spell, Conflagration Hill. I think that's what he used last episode, right? The, the Conflagration Hill is probably what he used on us. And you can see like the whole forest of trees like wiped down. Heir to the House of Ulster. Masters of Magical Flame. He was one of the youngest. He has one younger sister. Oh. An incident when he was a first year made him keenly aware of Will, who he saw as an enemy. So basically the boyfriend fucking drama. Mercedes Collis, the wizard's tower. It looks like a stock that could snap at any moment. Hey, are you fucking hinting at something that this is gonna come down? A certain mage queen poking fun at herself. Hmm. Mage queen? Wonder who they're talking about. Queen, I don't know. More Xion getting ignored by Will. <laughs> You should kill them all, Will. They suck. Sad. Ah, the miscommunication, huh? It's not that Will didn't see Xion as like a significant person or not. It's just... He's like, leave me alone. I'm getting bullied. Just please, all I'm asking is that you just let me exist in peace. I need, I just want to like go away. And Shion reaches out. And from this angle, Will's going to be like, oh great, I'm getting bullied again. And he walks away and Shion misunderstands and that's what we have here. That look. Elfie. <laughs> the 
<laughs> this imagery, man. He used fire magic. Damn. He cried. But like, what? You want me to feel sad for Shion right now? No, 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 no. Will is still the victim here, bro. I am not gonna feel like, oh no, poor Shion. He had it so rough. No, fuck that shit, bro. You had everything and you reached out and you're trying to be nice for sure. I can acknowledge that Shion was trying to be nice and Will took it the wrong way because of the headspace that he was in that we just saw. I'm not gonna fucking see Shion crying and throw magic spell. You really gonna side with him over Will right now? Nah, bro. Shion's second love is not Will. I think Colette is the second love. Shion realized that he can't get Will, so he decided to pick up on what's the closest after that, which is Colette. Guardian. The immortal phoenix regenerates! Yo, this guardian thing is kind of OP, huh? Have we ever seen a guardian before? It's, I think it's the first time they're trying to make a big deal out of like this guardian. CGI Arena. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Shion is like next level, I guess. If Edward is this shocked, and if this shock is from Shion's performance right now? The Guardian must be so important, man. Fire Faction Scout. So what? The whole intro shit where it's just like, oh, Shion has so many credits. He's like top four of the academy. But uh oh, a little bit of friendly fire. You're not gonna get scouted now. You fucking summon the Guardian every fucking forgetting about it. They're like, oh, who is this prodigy? Please scout him right now. Fuck the infighting. That's still really good though. Hawk. He's a hawk now. Alright. Fire Magi event, you're gonna know. It looks like Shion is their top pick. Kinda crazy that magic gauntlet thing that Colette created for Will fended against Shion's fire attack. That's kind of insane. Episode 1. Yeah, cause if we go serious on you, you're gonna die. Like, I don't think Will's really trying. I seriously don't. I think that he's like still confused and trying to comprehend like, why is he doing this? What should I do? If he was seriously intent on killing Shion, it would've happened in my opinion. Look, he's still questioning. <laughs> You're suffering? Your humiliation? What about Will suffering, bro? Just because like, you had that one moment in the flashback? It sounds like you want him to fucking say, I accept your apology. Does this not sound like fucking Reiner from Attack on Titan telling Eren, Please. Please, I'm such a bad person. Please, I can't live like this anymore. Please accept my apology. You're gonna mention another boy? In front of me when we're do having this thing? Are you fucking him too? <laughs> and yet you. Why are you always looking everywhere but at me? Why won't you look me in the eyes when we fight, Will? <laughs> this shit's so gay. This is amazing. Oh my god, at the end of the day, 
He just wanted Will to acknowledge him. He's crying. I'm looking. Yeah, he loves you, bro. I would have never imagined the story to pan out this way. I, like, I thought that Shion was gonna have some sort of like, I don't know, a redemption by beating Yulius and, you know, prove his worth to Will and we'll all be kind of friends. But honestly, this direction is way more fun. This is way more interesting. The goggles are on! Look at me! The Guardian again! What are you gonna do, Will? Damn! Observation hockey! Laser eyes! I guess the power scaling is Colette better than Will and Shion and Julius? Colette fan service! Did you beat him? Dude, the Colette? Like, they're hyping this girl up like crazy. I, I, it probably, like, maybe the Ice Clones are definitely less stronger, right? But like, she actually won? And prevented them from fighting like Colette? Earth Princess? Like, where are they going with this girl? What the fuck was that noise? What? Goodness, it's first love five years ago. Yeah, maybe it's not quite accurate to say Colette beat Julius, but I guess she did beat the clone and the clone disappeared. But like, again, like, Colette power scaling, they're kind of keeping it ambiguous. <laughs> you see that shit? <laughs> Look how fast he backed down in front of Colette. <laughs> Jacket. Too late, Shion. Arigato, Koreto. Yeah, this sucks for Shion, I guess. Because <laughs> he loves Will, but Will never looked at him, and Colette, the first love or some shit. Now, Colette obviously loves Will. It's an interesting fucking situation happening. Because Elfie's at the very top, and Will's chasing after Elfie. But then there is Colette chasing after Will, Iris chasing after Will. But then there's also Shion chasing after Will, but kind of chasing after Colette. It's... What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Bye. Will! Oh shit, it's Julius group! Got all three of them. Will. Will. Huh? What an entrance! That's pretty cold. That's pretty cold of Julius to not give a fuck. I wonder if he's in shock or if he's trying to act cool right now. And he's like, what the hell just happened behind me? Next episode, though. That's today's episode of Wistoria, man. And my god, did anyone expect this shit to happen with Shion? Like, I thought that Shion Colette could have been a ship definitely, but I never would have 
ever imagined that the root cause of Xion's feelings towards Will, this all this hostility, comes from Will not acknowledging Xion when he reached out as a kid. Xion saw how pathetic Will was and how he got bullied in the situation. Will was so disappointed, sorry, depressed. And Xion reached out and said, hey, I'll let you be one of my friends. And what did Will say? Nothing. Nothing. Because to Will, he thought that Xion was trying to bully him too. And Will just wanted to just say, leave me alone. Let me just exist in peace. Please leave me alone. And all his eyes are set on the tower at the top where Elfie exists. And Xion ever since then has been harboring this grudge. This disgruntled one-sided love towards will that never got responded please look at me will please why won't you look at me <laughs> it's pretty fucking good it's pretty fun but hey i think colette and sion is the actual ship i mean even in the intermission scene it was confirmed that colette of five years ago is the person that like Xion fell in love with but at the end of the day everyone's getting fucking cucked by elfie colette being earth princess was pretty obvious last episode but now it's pretty much directly confirmed and yeah colette took down the ice clone which is should, should be pretty impressive, but they're being very ambiguous with how strong Colette really is and why... I don't know. I want to know more about this, like, lore of Earth Princess. Now, in the final seconds of the episode, we have Julius's group showing up with all three members, but then Will shows up alone. But I don't think this means that it's just going to be these two fighting, right? It just means that these two were the first ones to get to the arena. And whoever, you know, gets to that crown first wins. So... Doesn't that mean Wignall still has a chance? Because that elf guy, right? Like, I, I think that it's not just going to be a battle between these guys, right? During the fight, shouldn't more people show up to the Colosseum? I'm not sure exactly how that's going to be handled, but hey, we'll have to find that time next week. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.